The words that you see on the screen are pollutants to the air we all breathe. How much cleaner would our air be if they just disappeared? My name is Yad. My name is Ginza Huck. My name is Abby Cohen. My name is Sierra Moore. My name is Taylor Smith. I'm Shayla Stevenson. My name is Nick. Is there a word or a phrase that you find particularly derogatory or offensive? Oh, one word that I uh, don't say is disabled. Each person is different, each person has different abilities, so I prefer to use the word differently able to represent that. One word that really stands out to me um, that people seem to use, maybe not as often as others, but still a lot, um, I think is retard. People would use it in um, circumstances and situations where there was no need to. Yeah, I, I hate the word cunt. To me, when I hear that word, you know, you're calling a person, you know, the worst thing you could possibly call someone. One word that I don't say is illegal immigrant. Uh, the reason I don't say that word is because I prefer the phrase undocumented citizen. A word that I find <clears throat> really derogatory and offensive is the word slut. It's not right to judge a person based on their personal decisions that don't affect you. A word that I find derogatory uh, is the word, <sighs> sorry, I wasn't prepared to say it. Oh my god, I can't even say it! The word, uh, nigga. People think that because you take off the ER and replace it with an A, but it's a whole new word that doesn't have the same baggage that the actual word has, but newsflash, yes it does. Well, personally, it's raghead, uh, and the reason that is is because that's a phrase that people sometimes use to refer to a Muslim woman that wears a scarf, which is extremely offensive to me as a Muslim. When someone thinks something is stupid or anything like that, they might they might say it's gay, but that's really offensive. A good friend of mine um, was telling me a story because she's disabled and she's in a wheelchair and she was saying that it bothers her when people call her disabled because it makes her feel bad about herself. So that's why she uh, she uses the term differently abled also because that makes her feel like, okay, we're all different, but at least I'm no, no inferior, inferior to you just because of something that I can't control. It really had an effect on people who um, were um, having developmental problems and you could really see that in their faces, and I really saw that, and it really affected me. I just hear it a lot around school and on, in the media. Just really disrespectful to say, like, that's so gay, also like kind of means, like, that's so stupid, and, like, being gay is not stupid. I refuse to believe that any person is illegal. Uh, we are all human, and our humanity comes first, and I choose to recognize that through my language by abstaining from the usage of the term illegal immigrant and choosing instead undocumented citizen. I went to an Islamic school and within that context I had a ton of teachers um, that have been assaulted verbally in the street um, and told that they should either go back to where they came from or that they should take the scarf off or that they should acclimate to society more and raghead has been thrown around a lot. I think slut shaming. You don't know their story, you don't know um, how they feel. It doesn't really matter. Why do people care? That's the real question. People use it as a substitute for dumb or stupid and it's really more of a medical term and those people aren't shouldn't be viewed in a negative light I really believe that we should be lifting those people up instead of pushing them down no one is the worst person there's always some actual quality that, that someone has and I, I think it's just wrong to call anyone that word I pledge to keep our air clean by not using the word disabled I pledge to keep our air clean by not saying the word ghetto. I pledge to keep the air clean from the word slut. I pledge to keep our air clean by not using the phrase illegal immigrant. I pledge to keep the air clean from the word raghead. I pledge to keep our air clean from the word cunt. I pledge to keep our air clean by not saying the word nigga. I pledge to keep our air clean from the word retard.